this document has been deemed classified by the board. All personnel viewing it must have at least Division 3 security access. Any information presented inside the following document must be pre-approved before knowledge of it is given to any lower division staff. Item ID AEP-009 Enclosure Designation Noctis Threat Classification Chem-04 Adaptive Enclosure Protocols Due to complete containment of all instances of AEP-009 being deemed impossible, all non-association petroleum and deep-sea expeditions north of degrees north in the Arctic Ocean are to be intercepted and non-association individuals violating quarantine are to be given grade A amnestics or terminated. Any recovered instance of AEP-009 is to be destroyed via incineration immediately. Any handling of AEP-009 is prohibited for personnel not wearing sterilized hazardous material gear. Under no circumstances is AEP-009 allowed to make contact with organic material. Failure to neutralize non-contained instances of AEP-009 may result in an NK class end of the world scenario. Quarantine is administrated by Site 789 in Northern Greenland following the destruction of Deep Research Site. Quarantine is to be carried out by multiple outposts throughout the Arctic Ocean. Description AEP-009 is a colony of independent cellular entities taking on the appearance of unrefined petroleum. However, it lacks any similar chemical makeup. AEP-009 shows a bond with petroleum, including refined, as a method of hibernation to an indefinite time limit, possibly staying with oil deposits since the early Mesozoic era. Along with its apparent bond with petroleum, it has shown a very high vulnerability to incineration, which has helped contribute to containment procedures. AEP-009 was first contained on a newly built oil platform north of the town of belonging to the Corporation before association acquisition. Initial recovery was carried out by ART Task Force Arctica 5. Immediate reports detailed the loss of the entire platform's crew. Arctica 5 resorted to sinking the oil platform after sealing off every extraction pipe and incinerating all instances of AEP-005 and affected organisms. Further designated as AEP-009-A. On board, following initial containment. Other instances of AEP-009 were reported and contained. Predictions on containment labeled the entire Arctic Ocean as a high-risk area, but with recommendations to leave it open to non-association exploration and experimenting. The current quarantine on Arctic Ocean exploration and oil extraction was put in place immediately after these predictions, when all major reports of AEP-009 emerging ceased. Addendum 1A. AEP-009 has had one major occurrence since the quarantine was implemented. On. Extracted colonies of AEP-009 breached containment in Deep Research Site. ART Task Force Arctica 5 failed to retake Deep Research Site. G-503 authorized the detonation of on-site nuclear warheads, neutralizing all instances of AEP-009. Access Deep Research Site. SOS log. SOS signaling begins. Doctor. Is this... Redacted thing on? Oh, thank God. This is Doctor... Of Site. We've had a major containment breach. AEP-009 has unexpectedly breached its containment. Loud banging can be heard in the background as Doctor... Pauses briefly. Doctor. Please, to anyone receiving this message, we need support now. AEP-009 is killing redacted everyone and making these things. The loud banging has immediately been replaced by sounds of the door being loudly ripped open. Doctor. Oh, God. Redacted. They got through the redacted door. SOS signaling ends. Show ART Task Force Arctica 5 response log. Task Force Arctica 5 confirmed entry into site. Arctica 5 reports. All clear. In Sector 2, general evacuation notice has been issued for remaining personnel in site. Arctica 5 reports 75 casualties in Sector 5. Containment doors sealed in Sector 4. Arctica 5 forms two teams. Arctica 5A, Arctica 5B. For securing site. Heavy contamination reported in Sector 3. Warning issued. Contact with Arctica 5A has been lost. Warning issued. General evacuation completed. All remaining staff have been relocated. Arctica 5B confirms nuclear warhead secure. Request for activation of nuclear warhead sent to G503. Arctica 5B reports 20 casualties. Arctica 5A confirmed terminated. Request.
Test 4 on-site nuclear containment approved. On-site nuclear warhead activated. All remaining personnel are issued an immediate evacuation notice. Arctica 5B confirms general containment failure. On-site nuclear warhead detonated. Site terminated. Arctica 5B confirmed terminated. Addendum 1B. During deep research site. Z containment breach. AEP-009 showed growing signs of intelligence as it grew throughout the site. With instances of AEP-009-A exercising high levels of intelligence to the point of communicating with other AEP-009-A instances. Noted signs of intellect also include AEP-009 and AEP-009-A mimicking ensnared human cries for help to lure further victims. On-site cameras recorded living and deceased human individuals were gathered by AEP-009 and instances of AEP-009-A and were seemingly assimilated and reassembled with biomass and parts from AEP-009 and other recovered victims. Living subjects of transformation were recorded to still be alive as late as their entire bodies being repurposed. Addendum 2. AEP-009 has been determined to be a major threat as of the events of Review Log 009-1. AEP-009 research is now on indefinite standby. Show Review Log 009-1. Log begin, Doctor. All right, it's recording. Shall we begin? Doctor. All right, I'm sure you're aware of the recent findings via the carbon dating. Doctor. Sighs and pulls out a folder and multiple papers from it. Doctor. So we found out why AEP-009 is always with oil? Doctor. Yes, carbon dating has shown that colonies of AEP-009 originally did not always hibernate with the oil deposits. To make a long story short, we found considerable proof that it was an... adjustment of sorts. Doctor. Uh, yes. You believe that it simply over-digested the remains of the creatures it feasted on to the point it accelerated the creation of fossil fuel. Doctor. To oversimplify it, yes, but that isn't the find we're focusing on. I mentioned that because it confirms something very frightening. You see, before the various mass extinctions that hit the Earth, we have a very good reason to believe that AEP-009 was responsible for almost being its own mass extinction event. Doctor. Sighs audibly as they open another folder. Doctor. I see. So, in a nutshell, this effectively means... Doctor. Yes, AEP-009 could end any and all life on the planet and replace it with biomass. Doctor. Was the council notified? Doctor. Yes, so we simply have to sit back and wait for something to happen. Hell, this is the first and last review we're doing on it. They're putting all research on standby. Doctor. Very well, I guess we can call it here. Log and Value Assessment AEP-009 has been noted to contain valuable carbon dating on recovered instances, allowing for detailing of the early Mesozoic era due to every extracted instance of AEP-009 showing to have been in hibernation for the millions of years it has lain dormant. 